my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Here we have it guys, the Steam Deck Backplate Mark 9.1. It's pretty much the same as the other one except this bump out is a hell of a lot smaller and if we put them side by side like this, look at that, it's about three finger lengths shorter and it doesn't pop out as much as you see here. It drops down by, I think it's only at its highest point about eight millimeters here. So it's lower than this fan. So definitely lower profile the hinge is a lot more robust too now than the mark 9 so definitely a huge improvement so the reason why this one exists because of this cable so this is a m.2 extender you can get it amazon i believe is 17.99 maybe slightly more and this thing worked great for quite a while and basically we just shoved all of this in there no problem but eventually over time this cable started to degrade it's now faulty and it's the reason i know it's faulty is my gpu was no longer running properly on this and that's why for the last two weeks i've been kind of working on redesigning this and the, how, the reason why i was able to redesign this because i was able to source out these m.2 these are not extenders these are considered m.2 detectors and what it does is they're just an M.2 to M.2 to male end to a female end. I found two of them, and I'll explain why this one looks like this. And basically, we just human centipede it together, and then we get a, a longer extension that bumps out. So the reason why this one looks like this, and even though they screw in like that, is because so you have access to this smaller screw. Because in the prior version, in the Mark 9, we were taping things down and I know that might be a big no-no for some of you. I know for me it was it wasn't an issue, but because of the type of attachment I was using, I was like, oh I can figure that out. So now we can plug this in. This one's slightly off. Uh, the other one inside the Steam Deck looks better. This one's off because I used the wrong uh, insert on on this. That was stupid, but it's fixable. Um, you can just take these things apart. They're they're 3D printed and then glued. Notice that I had to do some shaving. Um, on the next version of this one, I'll have to make this thing slightly wider, which is an issue because this screw is a bit of an issue. So on the final version of this, this screw, I got to figure out what to do with the screw hole because I'm not able to screw it down properly and we're getting a slight bump out. Um, but for the most part, pretty good seam just like the other one. Pretty good seam all the way around. Pretty good is, you know, that's it's it, it's serviceable. You know, it's not it's not as bad as the old ones, but it's by no means a perfect uh, backplate. Uh, nowhere near something else in the aftermarket. But remember, this backplate's main focus is function, function, function. As you saw in the video, you can now pop these bad boys in. Uh, you do need a slight washer to put this one in, so. I did 3D print these washers and I think on the kits I'm going to have more than just one because people are probably going to lose them because I've already lost them. And then you'll have a spare screw or you can actually use the stock screw that's in your SSD because you'll have another screw in here to screw down the first leg. So um, the main reason why most people would probably do some type of mod like this is to use a full size NVMe because these both these path through, pass throughs are i think this this one is for sure gen 4 and i think this one might be gen 3 but it doesn't matter because i believe the m.2 port in the steam deck is gen 3 so i i believe it doesn't it won't matter whether it one's a 3 and a 4 and 
in my testing i haven't seen any issues with this um i haven't really tested it too much with an operating system but i didn't notice any issues but i did notice a, a change when i was plugged into gpu so with the gpu i noticed my overall wattage was higher it was about 10 watts higher usually runs around that 120 to 130 and while it's gaming in some titles but i saw it as go as high as 145 um, and I believe it was in uh, Cyberpunk. Um, it didn't really reflect a lot in frames, maybe one or two, but an extra 15, 10 to 15 watts out of a GPU that's rated for at least 180, that's pretty big. And I don't know if that is just because this connector or this one was just faulty, but it is better now. One thing you'll notice, this is almost near perfect. It's slightly off, but it might be just because of the axis you look on. If anything, it might be, the gap might be a slightly larger on this side than this side, but I'm not messing with that anymore. That's that's good enough for me. That's about 95% there, <laughs> but it's almost dead on. And you could see how it's so off axis. So I think, I believe even the JSOX one's off centered because you would assume that they put this fan in dead center, but it's not it's shifted over about like almost 10 millimeters to the right and it is what it is that's perfect now this m.2 extender right here is double sticky taped on so you if you want to take it off you'll have to pry it open this m.2 is just like the other ones it's just an extender and so after removing your heat shield, you just plug this thing into your M.2 port. Even if you didn't have any adapters, you have easy access to this port now. So if you need to hot swap anything. But I, I will remind you, if you do some type of mod here, whether you just cut out your backplate and you have this opening and you do this, you need an external fan. That heat shield is important to cooling a lot of this stuff down here. Exclu it's mainly your VRMs and your MOSFETs, where, which are back here. Fans are very important. This is why this thing has a fan. It is super important to have a fan there. You will more than likely break your Steam Deck if you don't have an external cooler there if you remove that heat shield. So this screw, it's gonna come with a kit as well. Little silver screw. It's a little longer than uh, your standard screw, which is kind of actually your standard screw is smaller than this screw. There's a washer that's gonna come with this thing because it's too too long, and you don't want to poke through your motherboard. So there's a small washer on there, and it actually works out great because it becomes a little bit of plate to, for for this M.2 to stack on. Um, so that it's closer to being flush right here. So one of the main important things about this backplate is this bottom piece right here is actually below the level of the backside of this backplate. So here, let me explain that to you. So you see how this bump out here, which is this right here is f near flat with this surface. On this version, it is actually recessed a little bit further back here so it actually bumps out back towards me a little bit more about a uh, millimeter and a half and the reason for that is because this this back plate needs to sit near flush to the battery um, it's probably not the best practice to have this smashed up against the battery but it's the only way to get this full size m.2 extender in there without it bending too much um, so this thing basically is slightly angled. So as you press this down, you'll notice that it kind of bottoms out right here. It's just simpler to have two pieces and it actually works pretty dang good. Um, and your bump out smaller because if you would have to stack another one in there, your bump out will get a lot bigger, gets bulkier, or gets longer. And then it will be right where this other screw hole is. And then we'll run into the same issue as we did with this screw. Still haven't necessarily figured out um, a solution for this. Um, I think what I'm gonna have to do is recess that that screw hole further down underneath the back portion of this. So you'll see how this, um, it'll be this screw right here. I'm gonna have to recess this a little bit further, for, further down so that we can catch it a little bit better. It's not the end of the world, you know? And partly the issue is that this screw uh, threads on this screw down here, I actually ruined it with a drill bit on accident. It was stupid, but so it's not functioning like a, a normal screw hole. So you gotta take that in mind. So this thing has two layers to double sticky just because I find out that that's the perfect height level 
for this to sit pretty close to level one is held down with sticky tape that's it and this sticky tape is pretty strong so i wouldn't worry about it unless you're taking it on or off frequently it shouldn't come off on you and now you can screw in uh, a small nvme m.2 you can go ahead and put a full size one in now or you can plug in something like an oculink which is um, what I'm actually going to be using to do most of my testing now. So the beautiful thing of the Oculink, let's take a look at the lid first before we screw that in. Very simple lid. We have this uh, guideline here to stay inside this wall. Um, just a barrel hole. They line up. This one's a little worked on because I was getting fitment and actually ended up breaking it and then redesigning it and then just gluing on there with some super glue. But it fits perfect. I was thinking about making a bump out here so you can um, easily access this Oculink port if you wanted to. But the only problem with that is um, this thing makes a really good kickstand <laughs> and um, you lose the kickstand aspect of it when you uh if you keep it closed so when i'm using this thing in tandem with a gpu i always i always have this door open as a kickstand that's basically the mark 9.1 uh pretty much the same as the mark 9 i think um on the next version we'll just have a bit of pla or petg that goes in here so this hinge will definitely change just so it's um smaller so we can get this as a back screw no problem because this kit i want this kit to come in pretty much fully assembled um all you have to do is slide in the fan fans the same by the way same 40 by 40 by 10 mil fan but yeah oculink goes in there and now you really have a good nice secure point for oculink plug this thing in you can tug on it you won't easily disconnect it's great one of my favorite features is about this and this was with the mark 9.1 too uh is the kickstand Automatic kickstand. I love that and even if you just had a normal SSD and you wanted to use a kickstand you could So I think what I'll probably end up doing too is on the kits. I'll probably send an additional one of these um, just so that that you know just in case you break it off or Something happens. Maybe you break one of these tabs on accident. You, you'll have a spare So this will be coming out as a kit which will be available at diypoppy.net and you'll get everything you need to do this. You'll even get a little small screwdriver, not this one, but a little tiny one so you don't technically even need a screwdriver. It'll have all the mounting for your M.2 extenders, um, both of them, and you'll have screws for your M.2 as well. It'll come with the back plate, come with the cooling fan. More than likely, I will be shipping it with a extra lid uh no replacement screws for here so don't strip them don't lose them uh keep them um nice and safe and it's a really simple mod that really allows uh quite a bit of expandability on the steam deck while still adding very good cooling performance um like i mentioned in the original video this thing's actually runs cooler than the oled steam deck believe it or not if you want to pick up your mark 9.1 kit you can visit me at diypoppy.net. It will be a pre-order. Expect them to ship out within the week. Um, and one more big caveat. There's only going to be 10 of these. There's only going to be 10 of these. Because your boy scoured the entire internet and tried to source as many of these as I could. And I was only able to source out a dozen sets. Um, if I can source out more, I'll definitely have more available but there's only going to be 10. So you get everything you need the fan the backplate the lid the m.2 extenders everything you need to install the screws the tape it's gonna it's gonna be pretty much just bolt on bolt off and then now you have easy access to your m.2 for larger drives like so you can easily tie a gpu into it if whether it's Oculink or just a normal M.2 to PCI X16 and you'll have great cooling capabilities because this fan it's so simple to cool a steam deck you just need to do a vent hole here and then have a fan blowing inside of there and your steam deck runs super cool guys but other than that guys thank you so much for watching I'll catch you on the next one